Dear viewers, welcome you all to our show, OSA, that is Orthopedic Solution Academy. Hope you all are well during this COVID-19 pandemic situation by wearing masks and keeping distance with each other. Dear viewers, today our topic is a different topic, that is organ-saving technique alkanization for the treatment of total bone defect due to infection by Elizaro. Definitely, it's a new topic, and our speaker is Dr. Anatoly from Kurgan, Russia. I would like to request Dr. Anatoly, sir, to join with us. Dr. Anatoly, sir, welcome to our show, Orthopedic Solution Academy. Thank you very much for joining with us. Hello, everybody. Hello, sir. Dear viewers, we have uh, three learned academic experts with us. Uh, one of them is uh, Professor Novikov, sir, highly academician from Kurgan, Russia. Sir, welcome, welcome to our show, Orthopedic Solution Academy. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, dear viewers, uh, we have the legendary Elizabeth Surgeon from Bangladesh, uh, Professor Mofakarul Barisar. I would like to request Professor Mofakarul Barisar to join with us. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Dear viewers, we have another enthusiastic Elizabeth Surgeon from Partner Hello. India. That is Dr. Shamsul Huda, sir. I would like to request Dr. Shamsul Huda, sir, to join with us. Thank you. Good afternoon, Dr. Tanvir. Thank you very much. Uh, dear viewers, uh, you can also catch us on the Ortho TV as because of Ortho TV is also telecasting this program. Uh, now, I would like to request uh, Dr. Anatoly, sir, to start his presentation. I would like to request Dr. Anatoly, sir, to uh, share his screen with us. Please, sir. Everything is good? Uh, not yet, sir. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's fine. OK, good. <clears throat> uh, dear colleagues, today we, we were talking about organ saving technique, calcanization for the treatment of the of total hand foot bone defect uh, due to infection as we everybody know uh, for the anatomical stimulitis it is due to various etiologies makes up uh, to 38 percent of the total skeleton cases bone infection uh, lessons of the hind foot are 64 uh, percent in eight uh, and the half of percent of stimulitis cases in the ankle and hind foot, transtibial level amputation is treatment option. <clears throat> but many uh, patients uh, would like to preserve their limbs. And the Elizarov methods uh, provides uh, salvage of the foot and service hind foot stimulitis cases. So uh, totally, we have uh, 25 uh, post-traumatic patients with spinal trauma, uh, 33 patients, uh, gunshot uh, wound, one patient, and traffic accidents. That patients uh, had um, total uh, high and foot uh, bones defect. Um, uh, money Manifestations of that uh, local view of that patients uh, was uh, presented like uh, affected function, uh, defect of the hind foot or in the articular parts of the tibia, and defect of the calcaneus, ulcers, fistula, and neurotrophic disorders, and polymicrobial population. Uh, in most cases, uh, uh, we in um, Inflammation of, of the ulcers, uh, we find uh, we, was, we find it as uh, Staphylococcus aureus. So um, in seven ca cases, we find that ulcer was uh, not more than three centimeters, and uh, in most cases, in 80, 18 cases. 
uh, ulcers was be large and more more than uh, three centimeters. So uh, in X-ray uh, picture, we um, uh, six patients uh, have uh, total calcaneum defects and 19 patients ha had a, a total calcaneum talus and sometimes in some cases uh, distal side of tibia uh, bone defects. So and uh, in the uh, first uh, group of the patients uh, was included patients with uh, total calcaneum bone defect. And uh, for treatment that patients uh, like in, uh, we uh, used uh, technique, uh, two stage techniques. In first stage uh, was, uh, was done arrest of infection. Uh, where we was made uh, radical sequester necrectomy, ulcer wound stitching, and the laser fixation, and uh, finally uh, antiotropic antibiotic therapy uh, for two weeks. Uh, after surgery, after sec uh, after uh, removal of infection. Uh, was started uh, second stage when was done a reconstruction of the foot function, and uh, that stage was was uh, consist uh, from uh, three step. First step when we uh, made uh, arthrodesis of ankle joint. Uh, second step uh, was done reconstruction of the. Uh, Tibial distal uh, proximal side tibial osteotomy uh, for uh, tibial trans transport in uh, hind foot bones uh, and totally time of the, of destruction in that step uh, was uh, three or four centimeters and the last step um, when uh, was create. Uh, rotation of the distal uh, tibial fragment backwards after distal tibial osteotomy. So, and for that uh, group, uh, uh, case, case uh, female patient, uh, 25 years old, <coughs> with uh, spinal trauma, uh, with neurotrophic disorders in lower extremity, uh, soft tissue ulcer on, and fistulas on in left uh, hind foot. And uh, with that uh, view, uh, patient was admitted in our department where after, uh, after uh, where was done uh, in the first stage, a radical sequester necrectomy with Elizar of uh, fixation. Uh, for healing uh, wound, uh, uh, soft tissue wound and soft tissue uh, defect. After radical sequester necrotomy uh, <clears throat> was started uh, second stage uh, and the first step where we was done, uh, encourage disease. Uh, Encover through disease was done by a simple Elizarov method. Uh, was uh, in in previous uh, type of uh, external device was uh, admitted one more <clears throat> uh, one more half ring uh, with two wires uh, which uh, fixed uh, talus bone and the uh, creation of the um, Compression for uh, uh, for creation of ankylosis of ankyl joint. So next one step was started after 30, 30 days after uh, step one, step A, and uh, in that step uh, was done pro in proximal side tibial osteotomy for uh, bone transport uh, bone transport in hind foot. 
and uh, totally uh, time of uh, lengthening was uh, was uh, 40 40 centimeters and uh, after uh, after bone transportation was started uh, last one step C, where was uh, was done distal side tibia osteotomy and after that osteotomy uh, lengthening with uh, turning of that uh, distal bone fragment was uh, 15 days and after lengthening, after, trans, uh, after transfer, distal, uh, after rotation of that uh, distal fragment, uh, external fixation, external fixator was uh, um, was changed for uh, creation of the uh, conditions of the compression. You know. Uh, between uh, <clears throat> midfoot and uh, cr uh, created uh, new uh, new hind foot bones, uh, creation uh, that compression was done for uh, creation of that of the, of healing of, of fusion that uh, bones. <clears throat> so and after <clears throat> uh, after in, in after that. Uh, uh, totally fixation uh, was uh, six, uh, six months and uh, follow up um, of that patient uh, we have now more than uh, five years uh, patient uh, she had she have good function of that limb uh, she uh, not have of recurrence of infection and uh, she walked with full pressure on, he, on his limb. So another one group, uh, it is a group uh, which uh, does uh, which uh, don't doesn't have um, uh, no, uh, doesn't have uh, talus bone and. Uh, in in that group was uh, treatment was consist uh, from uh, from two, uh, two 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 stages in first stage like in previous group was was done arrest of infection and uh, radical sequester debridement ulcer wound uh, stitching and the lizard fixation with antibiotic therapy for two weeks and uh, in second stage, the second stage was consist uh, from two step. Uh, in first step, reconstruction by uh, destruction um, uh, after, uh, after proximal TBO osteotomy, and uh, totally uh, destruction was uh, 14 or 16 days. And step B, where was done. Trans, uh, transposition and rotation of the distal fragment, distal tibial fragment after uh, distal tibial osteotomy and totally uh, tra uh, transposition that uh, fragment uh, was 10 or 15 days. So, and the case for that, uh, for that group male patient 51 years old after gun, shotgun injury of the ankle and hind foot uh, and uh, with that uh, clinical view uh, and x-ray view patient was admitted in our department in the first stage uh, was done debridement with radical sequestronectomy Totally, we we are had, uh, we are take um, total uh, hind foot bone defect with uh, um, uh, distal side uh, with defect of the distal side of um, tibia and uh, lateral malleolus. So, after stitching wound, after healing wound uh, was started 
second uh, reconstruction um, stage where in the first step was done proxim in proximal site tibial osteotomy and uh, for uh, for bone transport for creation enough bond uh, in the hind foot uh, place so and after after that step was done another one step uh, uh, another one osteotomy in distal side of tibia and the uh, rotation trans rotation of that uh, distal uh, tibial fragment bone fragment in hind foot place uh, and uh, uh, after that um, between um, hind foot new hind foot bones and uh, mid foot bones was 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 created um, co compression for uh, healing and uh, uh, and after compression totally fixation was uh, eight months in the Lizarro, fixa uh, Lizarro fixator and uh, after after if just moment some something wrong with my presentation yeah, it is, it is Hank, sir. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Move forward to the next slide, sir. It is it is Hank, sir. Uh, if you have any problem, then you can go to the previous slide. Yeah, we, also, can, then we move have some forward. problems. Yeah. Okay, you can start from you can start from the first That's slide. Fine. Just a moment, we will try to do something with it. So uh, you can start from the beginning, sir. Uh, I think uh, that will be easier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, little network. Just, just uh, moment. Yeah. You go to the first slide. Yeah, yeah. Just a moment because uh, here is uh, PowerPoint is uh, something <laughs> don't don't doesn't don't work. It's is it the PowerPoint? We will, we will restart. Again. Yeah, uh, no problem, sir. Sometimes it happens. Yeah. Dear viewers, uh, we are waiting uh, for restarting our presentations uh, due to some technical problem. Uh, and I think uh, that was a great presentation. Uh, we were watching. <clears throat> Hope we'll connect within a few minutes or within a few seconds. Я думаю, это. Из видео. Оно еще, да. 
Она еще поддержку, ты сейчас к ней приходишь? I just wanted to ask Barisar and Noikos sir, can we do this for other bones also, like patella, like tumor head, like tumorous head, with Elizaro? Yes, yes, yes. No, you see, we are we, sometimes we are doing segmental bone transport, segmental bone transport, and right, this right. calcanization I am doing all the time. Calcanium lengthening. You don't have lower part of the foot. You can uh, uh, transport the lower tibia, and you can make the calcanium. You can whatever you like. You want to do that. You right. just do your osteotomy in the lower end of the tibia and just remove, and you can make a calcaneum. You know, Professor Shipsov, he has he has a very good book about the foot. Fantastic book. Next time I'll show you the slide of that foot. Right. The uh, only the foot. Uh, there everything is done, written how to go for this calcanization. Big defects, you can. Right. Uh, gradually lengthen, and you can mold whatever you like. Right side, left side, you can do. Uh, this is the beauty of Elizarov. That's why about Elizarov, about Elizarov, the you know, it is very important. Elizarov feel any defect, any defect in life of bone. If bone is viable, you can feel the defect. When this, these are the cases that he has shown, very difficult cases, no lower end of the tibia, even calcaneum, even talus. Then when you are hopeless, when you are hopeless, you can do something with this Elizarov technique. Elizabeth, See? Hope, uh, yes. And by, by, by doing this, you are extending the quality of life. Oh, okay. He's now in the... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, we can see your screen now, sir. We are ready. Uh, yes. Yes, okay. sir, please. Start. Your colleagues, uh, I, I see my slides. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we are stay, we are stay here. Yeah. So, and after fixation, nine, nine months of fixation, we take a good result. Unfortunately, um, my video slide is not short because uh, he, and in that video I I I want I want to try to try to show uh, function good function of that uh, of that patient how he walk how he can um, uh, how he can uh, stay walking in uh, all surfaces uh, I mean. When, uh, in a, in a forest, when patient can walk in a forest in uh, simple roads. So, and the total follow up of that patient, we have we have now more than seven years. Uh, patient walk, uh, not don't have rec recurrence of infection. So, and. Uh, all the, all the all cases all 25 cases which uh, was treated uh, in that technique uh, in all cases we are uh, assessed as a good uh, results we are arrest infection in all cases arrest uh, ulcers and fistulas uh, uh, and uh, was healed uh, ulcers and fistulas so uh, all bone defects um, in hind foot uh, uh, was uh, was healed, uh, and in all cases, uh, function of uh, their limbs was improved, and uh, patient all patients uh, can walk. So, uh, calcanization is a complex method of treatment that uh, requires a lot of effort and time from the doctor and the patients. But 
at the same time allows to save and restore the function of the affected limb. So thank you for attention. And in the slide, you can do uh, print sc uh, full screen. And uh, here is my contact for uh, collaboration, for uh, some questions. I, I, I will try to answer for everybody. So thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for your excellent you. presentation. Uh, and I think uh, that is uh, one of the rarest presentation of our show. Now, I would like to request uh, Professor Mofakarul Barisir to uh, say something regarding the presentation. Uh, thank you, Anadol Yusudnit Sid. Great presentation. You have shown the difficult cases. And uh, during your presentation, just I was talking about the big, big defects, ulcers and fistulas in the calcaneum region. So, and uh, regarding your presentation, uh, three-step surgery, sometimes I myself do the, at the same time go for proximal tibial lengthening and correcting the defects in the calcanization in the lower part. But you are doing first step this and then going for the lengthening and the distal lengthening and the arthrodesis in the hind foot or mid foot. This is good. But I myself doing the lengthening and at the same time correction of the defects of the calcaneum or the uh, tibia or the talus. So this is a learning uh, uh, technique that is calcanization is a very good method. Again, here goes to the principles of Elizar. While you are doing for the distraction, slow and steady traction on the living tissue creates a stress which is metabolically activated in both biosynthetic and proliferation. Biosynthetic and proliferation when there is a living bone and at the same time metabolic changes are going on and you are getting Professor Elizar shows in 1983 that 330% uh, circulation increases in case of uh, 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 this is this principle, the destruction when you are applying. And it helps in arresting the infection. And that we are getting in case of this kind of big defects in the ankle and the foot. And uh, uh, this is the su surprisingly unbelievable method that we are uh, we can do by Elizar and the the disabled man we can make able by doing this kind of uh, surgery calcanization and for the disabled people we have a bright future the cases that you have shown fantastic i myself uh, would like to uh, congratulate you and thank you both of you from Kurgan Center and the uh, OrthoDB and, uh, uh, you know, from uh, 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 Indian fellows and our, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Tanvi. And uh, if this is a learning uh, session, I think so, for all the young and uh, knowledgeable orthopedic surgeons, those who wants to know what to do when you are, you have nothing to do, when all lights are off, the light of Elizarov is on. That is the uh, technique. Thank you very much for your uh, nice presentation. Thank you again. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for your uh, encouraging speech. Now, I'd like to request uh, uh, Professor Navikov, sir, to say something, sir. Uh, I want to uh, once more congratulate uh, all of us uh, with uh, another technique excellent beautiful technique and i want to congratulate uh, my colleagues uh, from very heavy department when uh, inside of infection doctor can find individual plan of treatment because all of these patients uh, absolutely different and uh, very interesting when lone bone during the treatment 
during the change position, during the correction, uh, change uh, his quality and uh, start take weight bearing because this is uh, not uh, same condition like uh, calcaneus. Uh, tibia, when on the end of treatment, uh, we check this is uh, long bone is ready for a new uh, function uh, in our body for real take weight uh, bearing and once more uh, with this technique patient go away from osteomyelitis i cannot believe but this is true uh, doctor uh, back all this patient to the normal life patient can use normal shoes can walk without any support. This is fantastic. And uh, I cannot imagine uh, how doctor without Elizarov can support of this patient. I am happy doctor and uh, because uh, I have in the, my hand, uh, this is uh, magic methods. And uh, this is just now I can say uh, doctor who will follow us. And I'm absolutely, uh, relax because uh, we have some team who will follow our philosophy our methods and uh, just now each patient has something new and this is news from brain and hand and from experience of uh, young doctor this is uh, uh, once more uh, Elizarov gives give possibilities for any doctor all of the world. And in our uh, experience, something new, because each day we have evaluation, and each day we have new level of uh, our treatment. Congratulate all of you, and uh, thank you for Dr. Sudnitsin for his presentation. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, now I'd like to request uh, Dr. Shamsul Huda, sir, uh, to say something. And I have a question to Dr. Shamsul Huda, sir. Uh, are you doing this type of calcanization uh, in your hospital? Uh, thank you, Dr. Tanvir. First, I would like to congratulate Dr. Anatoly for such a wonderful presentation, proving again that Elizabeth can do all the possibilities and do wonders. Uh, I'm not doing this type of cases, but I've uh, been reconst uh, constructing like uh, distal femur or uh, proximal tibia uh, this sometimes, not to this much level. So uh, I have uh, two questions from Dr. Anatoly. Uh, number one, after uh, uh, doing the complete uh, calcanization for arthritis, the foot, do you change the rings or you use the same ring for arthritis with the agent? Yeah. Uh, sometimes uh, in each uh, in every case uh, every case is unique because it uh, I, I mean same case is very unique cases and because because it sometimes if uh, if we need to change some raw uh, some rings or some wires we can do it we here is we should understand we hear like a uh, pointers pointers in orthopedic in uh, orthopedic pointers in that technique and each one doctor is a pointer for uh, each uh, case and here is if you if doctors think that much more better if in each in in, in at that case uh, he should change wires or rings or, or half ring everything you should do it. Uh, he should, the doctor should do it. So, and uh, we understand that uh, he, uh, it is not uh, the, the technique organization. There is no standard technique. We ha here is we know only standard principles, but uh, in every case, you should uh, do some some new some create uh, some 
some better condition for that patient. And because it change wire, change rings, change everything, but create good function, uh, restore function, and uh, create good condition for that patient. Yeah, I think, I think that, yeah. Thank you, thank you. My second question is that, uh, uh, just like you have done a uh, calcarin regeneration, have you tried the same for uh, other parts like wrist, distal femur, proximal tibia, humerus head, and other parts? Similar techniques for the joints. Bari, помоги, мы не поняли, при чем здесь бедро, плечо, предплечье? Да, однако в методике вы используете, которые вы калькеним делаете и тебя бедро делаете. Однако техника, принцип. Принципы везде одинаковые у Лизарова. Принципы Лизарова основополагающие. It's uh, basic principles of Lizarov method. Lizarov. And uh, that principles can work in every segment like uh, shoulder, like uh, femur, like everything, same every place. Same, same. It's the yes. same, same principles, same Lizarov principles. Mm, right. Same question to Barisa. Yes, the, the uh, question you asked, he already replied. I was just talking to him in Russian language. The principles say that whenever I do any laser of surgery, I keep it in mind always slow. That I, I repeat all the time to my students and everywhere. Slow and steady traction on a living tissue that may be in the calcaneum, lower tibia, anywhere which is metabolically activated, which stimulates histoneogenesis in proliferative and biosynthetic pathways depending upon the vascularity and the functional use. This is the theory. If right. you have vascularity, you use the, that limb, you'll get a fantastic result by doing the uh, principles of Ilizarov, slow and steady traction. You do the yeah. osteotomy. As for example, I'm telling you again, you don't have calcaneum. You have only tell us, listen, just do your osteotomy oblique in the lower end of the tibia, put the ring, gradual distraction. You just go behind, you can make it just like a calcaneum. And Professor Shepsov has written a very fantastic book of foot. You know, Anatoly and Sudhir Singh. And, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You have a food, food surgery, fantastic book. And they have everything there regarding this calcanization, uh, flat food, cavus food, and uh, uh, this, uh, you know, no bones in the backside. You want to make the food, you can do that. And the pictures he has shown in his uh, uh, presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, it was a nice discussion. Uh, I would like to uh, ask one question to Dr. Anatoly, sir. Sir, is there any uh, special uh, rehab protocol uh, for this type of uh, patient? Yeah, as I told it before, uh, yeah, here is, uh, we don't have a special treatment protocol because only only typical principles only principles because uh, here is uh, we totally we have 25 cases and every case is uh, unique every every that case is unique and absolutely different absolutely different case uh, totally all cases uh, is uh, considered only uh, principles principles for uh, healing that bone defect only. And because it, uh, we don't try to create uh, protocols or everything. Okay. Very Thank you very much, uh, sir. Very sorry, yeah. because <clears throat> sometimes uh, real protocol disturb us. When we have standard, some patients cannot, we cannot put inside of standard. And this is protocol will disturb treat this patient.
And I'm happy because uh, Elizarov methods give possibilities uh, for each patient find some new protocol. Mm -hmm. that yeah, that's, a, that's a great thing, sir. That's a great thing. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you very much, uh, all of uh, you, uh, for being with us. Uh, and I would like to thank uh, Ras TV uh, for helping us to arrange this type of academic program. And definitely, Renata Pharmaceuticals Bangladesh Limited for sponsoring uh, this program. I'm Dr. Mohit Andriyashav saying bye-bye today to you. But uh, we'll see in the coming Friday with another magical topic of Elizabeth. Till then, I would like to say bye-bye to all of you. Bye-bye. You are watching Raj TV. Jagorone, Bangladesh. Please subscribe our channel.